Chess friends, how are you? Our team has recently developed a brand new version of Stockfish 17 beta, it will be named as Stockfish 16.1 near a month. I played some chess games with Alpha 019 and I will show you one of my brilliant game against him, let's get started, I initiated the game with e4, where d5 stands as the most common move. Let's explore a queen's gambit trap following the martial defense, white can choose varieties of moves but we will capture the pawn on center, takes knight f3 knight c6, e4 to target it so knight f6 to recounter the pawn, knight here bishop g4 to pin the knight, to attack the d-pawn. D5 and black should move back his knight but if your opponent isn't a stockfish subscriber and plays, knight e5, then capture the knight to sacrifice the queen, by giving up the queen white delivers a critical check on b5, c6 takes and if your opponent plays queen c7 then just take the pawn with a discover check, so in this position if black plays a6, then c7 move will destroy black position, takes takes, rook takes queen knight takes d1, white is up a piece and he is completely winning the game. In three words I can sum up everything I've learned about life, it goes on, back to the position, my opponent is a stockfish subscriber so he played d6, maybe he want to play Pillsbury variation, knight here knight f6 g3, black could go with bishop fumetto or tartak over defense but he played knight d7, preparing to strike in the center with c5 or e5, so I pushed my center pawn and after two moves we have c6, Black's idea is to push the E and D pawn to make a strong structure. So queen c2 takes takes and after a sequences of moves I played bishop f4 with the idea of playing long castle to activate the rook on this file. c5 stands as a crucial move to analyze, setting up a discovered attack on the queen along with a knight assault on c6. So both side played castle and here if you play any normal move, let's say h6, c5 to target it and the knight can't go any of these squares c takes d6 is a critical move to consider. So d takes c5 knight takes pawn queen runs takes takes bishop d6 and you will lose your best friend. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience, this is the ideal life, so back to the position, alpha strikes in the center with d5, capturing the pawn isn't best because it can open up the c file and the king position, so h4 knight h5 takes and after few moves later, the file gets opened, Bishop d3 will contribute to the attack on the king side, takes e5, developing the strategy to attack in the king side, queen e2 queen h5 is the long term strategy, bishop here bishop d3 to target the pawn. h6 can't possible because after queen d2 bishop c5, bishop back to c2 rook c8, queen d3 targeting to the checkmating square, g6 wouldn't work as the rook g1 can create a checkmating threat, h5 can come if needed how will you protect it? Game will be over so back to the position, we have rook c8 to play knight a4. Attacking to the knight with two pieces, so I played bishop takes h7 king here queen e2, sacrificing the bishop completely to play queen h5 rook to g1, you may think of playing g6 then we will sacrifice the rook on g6, takes check here check king here rook g1 check, king can't go f7 because it will lead into a checkmate on g6 square, so bishop blocks check here takes, rook h1 check is coming and how will protect it her. Huh? The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool, back to the position, alpha is a stockfish subscriber so he played, rook takes c3, sacrificing the rook to play bishop a3 check, if you play king b1, let me show you the variation, g6 to consider knight a4 then queen b6 check, h6 knight a4 king ups queen comes rook defends, knight takes c3, sacrificing the knight, and if you capture it then after rook check king backs queen takes check, here bishop e5. Targeting to the queen and you can't capture the light squared bishop, queen e3 bishop check takes takes, king slides check ups and it will be a checkmate on c2 and friends, if you want to perform like stockfish in your games then just like and subscribe to my channel, it will improve your chess so back to the position, here if you capture the queen then after takes takes takes, the black position will be fine and secured, so back to our current position, I played king c2. Bishop check backs sacrificing the rook, takes and you still can't capture the bishop, because the queen and rook can checkmate you, let me show you the variation otherwise you can't find checkmate sequences by your 1 gigabyte brain memory, check backs here, g6 can't possible because of f5, so in this position black played queen d7, 
then we will sacrifice the rook, because the rooks are just made for sacrifices, it will be a checkmate on g7 square. Yesterday's history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift of God, which is why we call it the present, so back to the position, we have knight c4, with the idea of playing queen b6 check, knight b3 then capture the bishop, because the knight on f5 is very important to attack in the king side, black wants to remove the knight position so I moved back my bishop all the way, queen check bishop b3, rook c8, a5 a4 may come so I played rook to g1. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.